So now I'm going to answer some questions about the fault in our stars. Um, and if I go over my time, I'm going to get punished with this device, which causes electrocution. So I'm going to try not to go over my time. I wonder what happened last night, and I was very sad about it. So if you could just raise your hand. Oh, the only thing I want to say is, this should be obvious, but apparently it's not. A very nice girl um, in the last tour stop raised her hand and asked a question about looking for Alaska that began, why did biggest possible spoiler something, something, something? Don't do that. So like in your mind, if your question is like the biggest possible spoiler, don't ask me. Ask me on Tumblr. Yeah. Like that private ass bump, and I won't answer. Don't push the straight hand and I'll kind of call this on you. Yes, with the waiting hand. The mic is coming to you. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, of all your characters. Who's my favorite of all my characters? Um, well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. That, that, that's hard. I mean, I, you know, I have different levels of affection for all of them. I might find a bunch in the bunch of Catherine. I'm, I'm, um, I feel like it's not a small section of the fan girl. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm very, like, The Fault in Our Stars is so much closer to me in some ways than any of my other books that it's hard to, uh, I got, I'm just too close with things about them. Yes, as characters, but in my mind they're still like there. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get an answer in six months. Um, yes, in the Nerd by Terry community shirt. Uh, do you picture a specific band when you think about the hectic glow? Yes. No, I think of a specific band when I think about the hectic glow. So in my, in my novel, The Fault in Our Stars, there's a fictional band called the Hectic Glow. Which is one of the things I wanted to call the book. It's after a thorough quote from the journal where he said, um, uh, disease and decay are often beautiful, like the pearly tear of the shellfish with a hectic glow of consumption. Um, and in a lot of ways, I think that tuberculosis was the 19th century imagination, what cancer is to the nation. It's a disease that um, strikes young and old. It's very capricious. It, uh, Sometimes you live and sometimes you don't, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of sense about who survives and who doesn't. Um, and also, uh, it, it's both a uh, terrifying disease and at times that we survive. Um, so, I was thinking a lot about the way that um, romantic poets and people in the 19th century wrote about the call about tuberculosis when I was working on the Faulkner Stars. So I really wanted to call it the hectic glow, but that's a really hard thing to say unless you practice it. Um, and so you can't really recommend that book to your friends, you know? You can't be like, oh, I just read this book, it's fantastic, it's called the hectic glow. Because <laughs> it's a kunga issue. So I didn't call it that, I called the man in the book that instead. Um, I don't think this is an exam when I think of the Hectic Glow. The whole, my whole idea was that they were going to be the best band ever, and sort of definitionally the best band ever can't exist. Um, <laughs> real thing. Because there's something magical about, about the power of the thing that doesn't really exist. Um, and in Hazel's you know, life, the, the power of the narrative of an imperial affliction is so intense for her. And I think part of, that, part of the reason for that is because she is aware that it's a work of fiction. Um, and so I wanted the hectic glow to be like a little echo, quiet echo of that. Other questions?